In this video, I'm going to show you how to spot the mint coins that will 10x or even more in the coming weeks because there's actually one piece of data that we can use that is really powerful and I haven't seen anyone harvesting yet where actually it's a really smart thing to do. For example, our system alerted us around here and then this mint coin more than double in a market that is struggling because now the mint coin market is suffering. This is what's happening on Pumdaf Fund, the major platform to release tokens. We can see that even the number of tokens created is going down. And their revenue is also falling down faster than when you did your first time. So this is how bad it is. But this is where the opportunity is. And I want to show you exactly how you can do it. So we're going to check what's happening on chain first to understand where the money is going and what is happening. Hi, by the way, welcome on Handsome Finance, where we study what's happening on chain because the blockchain is an open ledger. So we can see all the transactions and know what the smart money is doing. What are they accumulating that they will pay to promote later on? So you can just piggyback on them and make your 10x. So don't forget to put on your little matcha and let's get to it. To understand first what happened to the market, I'm going to thank my friend Adam for making this dashboard. Pump Fund made more than 100 million in revenue. If you don't know Pump Fund, it's this platform that lets you launch any token for free, just whatever meme coins. As you can see, some developers are like super creative and they charge 1% fee on every transaction, no matter when you're buying or when you are selling. So their revenue is just a reflection of what is the volume. Because if their revenue is going down, it means the volume is going. And if there's less volume, then there's less money in the market and there's less money to be made. So instead of looking for the new coins, now it's time to change the strategy and look for longer conviction play that you can just buy, sit on your hands, watch and some finance, buy some merch and have a good life. Now, how to find those is the key of this video. And we have to know when it would go back up because I don't want you to buy a coin and just sit on your hands for too long. So I want you to know when you can get out with your profit because that remind me one day, like I was wondering, is it gay to jerk off your friend? Because as a guy, we always wonder what is gay, what is not gay. No problem to be gay, but it's just you have to know who you are. And to the question, if it's gay or not to jerk off your friend, I would say no. Because if you sit on your hand for 7 minutes and 36 seconds, then there's no more blood in your hand. So it's a dead hand and it's not really your hand anyway. So you just put your hand like that. And what's happening inside your hands is out of your control. That's why I think it's not gay. But what is the market going on in meme coin? First, we say it's going down. We saw the transaction. And there's one thing that people forget of why it's going down. But let's check, for example, now, Dex Queener. You can see the market cap of the meme coins. It's revenue above $1 million market cap. And then even on some coins that are old. Now, if I check some data from the best channel in the crypto space, humbly, I know this guy's amazing. And we see that five months ago in the video, in the last 24 hours, it's like 70,000%, 300, 1,000, 29,000, 500. <laughs> and then when you check today, it's like 300, 600, we get 1,000 and then minus like 100, 40%, 11%, 65%. So of course now it's really, really hard to find good meme coins compared to back then. At that time, it was so easy. New money was entering in the market, but some of the stuff happened. And actually, as I said, Pump Fund is taking 1% fee every time. So we know that $100 million is out of the market because Pump Fund is not investing, as far as I know, into meme coins. They are not using any of the money to reinvest in meme coins. So in the pool of money that we had as all investors, we know that $100 million went to Pump Fund. By the way, no hate again, Pump Fund. I think what they brought is really good to the market. Maybe actually their creation managed to bring more new money to the market in a short term because everyone could create their coin and they would say to their friend, let's go, we're going to create the next meme coin cabal which is going to go to 1 billion. So I buy a thousand, you buy a thousand, you sell your car, you buy 3,000 and then maybe this money arrived on the market. And we also have to remember that we mostly use trading bots because if you trade with your normal wallets, well, you cannot get wrecked. And those guys combined, thanks Will Hunter for this dashboard, is with a volume of 35 billion. So now if I check 35 billion and we're going to make 0 0.1, 
we can estimate that $3.5 billion went to those bots. Yes, $3.5 billion. Now, it doesn't only account for Solana, you also have Ethereum. So we can put down, we can agree on $1 billion. So we have $1.1 billion that is gone. Maybe they invested back in some meme coins, but they enhance as well the possibility to trade with meme coins. And then we had some other bots that had more than 10 billion in volume. So we have $100 million. Before you go in the comments and so happy to correct me, I made a mistake. I counted 10% instead of 1%. So it's actually 355 million plus the other ones, we can be around 0.5 billion. So we have $500 million that is out of the market, but I was kind of necessary to create a better market because let's not forget that where I want to take you is what happened here on this day, one of the best day for revenue for Pump Fund. And I think it was around $5 million. Here it says 2.5, but depending on the price of Solana is when Donald Trump went on X and the number of tokens created was insane. So we know that there's a high demand for meme coins around politics. And then to say like meme coins are dead is to say gambling is dead. Same thing. Gambling always evolved. Before we had screens, we had bandy man show, they were normal. Before we had mechanism, we were gambling in other ways. On cops, French cop, which was one of the best way to gamble, but Fortunately, people change their mind, but here we are betting how long the joke will start. And then when we check the search around meme coins, yes, we had the spike. And then, yes, we had another massive spike in February, March. That was the golden time. The golden era was before December and a little bit after December, golden era. But then did it dies out? No, it phased out. And that's kind of what I like because when it's something that goes up and then goes to zero it's gone that was a trend we out but here it's something that stays okay it's going down and as soon as new events are coming in it's going to come back up and we can actually see the regions who are investing in it china is number four is searching meme coins more than usa and we got all friends from nigeria actually you are so active on my Twitter as well. I don't know why, but thank you guys. So when you see this, you're like, okay. And I don't know why St. Elena is at 82%. Isn't it where, that's where Napoleon was uh, was gone, right? Yeah, St. Elena, Napoleon. So maybe Napoleon's family is now just trading meme coins. Or maybe it's just me and I am in St. Elena. Who knows? But what I know is that you can find a way to find the best meme coins. Because now that we know this, and we have to not forget one thing, is that on Tuesday, November 5th, we will have the elections in USA. And what is the best way to gamble and to bet on this? Than crypto in general? Nothing. Nothing at all. Each debate will create tons of meme coins, will create tons of traffic, and there is a chance that meme coins get highlighted because anything could happen. And it goes into the mainstream news and we will have a massive explosion. Because at the end of the day, we're just human looking to release our dopamine to get a bit more dopamine. And there's going to be nothing better than elections going on. Now, I'm going to show you why I show those coins. It's not coins that I hold personally or that I like, but I find a way to study it. And it's actually piggybacking on Jupiter this swapping exchange and that's going to be the next thing you need to do but the first thing you're going to need to do is to be able to spot the coins in advance and to be able to trade them well and the only way you're going to be able to do this is with bullex because bullex lets you have multi wallets let you sort the coins really easily so you don't have to search for the meme coins they just come to you they pop on your screen and then you can decide a yes or no it's one of the fastest bot I will put a link in the description because it's on waiting list, but luckily for you, I can get you in and you should be able to use that. Now, how did we manage to use Jupiter to find all things? As you know, the investors boardroom, we are really oriented on everything that is doing on-chain analysis. Now, Jupiter, you may not use it, but if you want to invest more than 100 soul or else, you are going to use it because it's going to help you to go with bigger amount. Because when you're trading on the screener, for example, here, we have different liquidity pool. You see, this is Radium. This is Orca. So if we have like three or four liquidity pool for a coin, for example, Billy, we have different liquidity pool with different pricing. So if I buy everything into one liquidity pool, I will make the price Kaiser get high when I want to buy low. As you can see, 
I can buy it at 1873 on this liquidity pool versus 86 here. So I have a slightly better price on that one. But the liquidity is lower, it's 22K. The cool thing is that with Jupiter, it tells me, okay, we're going to buy 100 Sol, some on Radium and some on Orca. So like this, I would get the best price. And the next thing is this here. By the way, this is not a sponsored video. I know Jupiter should pay me for this, but this is not a sponsored video. I just want to be sure you understand. Now, the functionality that you may not have used, but a big trader use is DCA, which is dollar cost average, because I do not want to buy in one clip. 100 sold so i can say okay i want to buy 100 sold worth of billy and i want to buy every hour and i'm going to place 10 orders and for example i could say minimum and maximum price like this i can buy in the same range and what's going to happen is every hour it will buy for me 10 sold worth of billy so what you want to see all the time in markets is accumulation phases like here, before a spy. And to know this, well, Kevin from the Investors Boardroom built a dashboard for that. So we're going to see actually if we release this to the public. Let us know in the comments if you would like to pay for this to get more alpha with on-chain analysis because we got tons of dashboard. So either we keep it just in the Investors Boardroom or we can have it outside. I don't know what the market wants. I know what I want. And here on those time frame, we could see that Frog was the one with the highest amount of DCA, 4,250 sold, which is a high amount. And then we will know the biggest buyer. So we can follow the biggest wallets that are accumulating and see what are they doing. But of course, what I was showing is what we did last week. Now it's already upgraded to this dashboard where you can see exactly, okay, what was being bought in the past week since the 25th. And when we see the since the 25th, we had Frog and we had Popcat. So Popcat on the 31. And when you check what was happening on Frog on the 25th, and probably if I show you the data of what happened before, you will see it. But 25th, boom, skyrocket. It went from 30 million to more than 75 million dollar market cap. Now, if I check for Popcat, Popcat, I can see, and that's why it's important, that we had some DCA, but it stopped. And as soon as it stopped, the price started to crash. But you can see on Popcat how we had it on the 25th, then on the 27th, we had it back a little bit on the 28th, 29 a lot, and then they stopped. When we had the gap, boom, it stopped, it crashed. So it's not an exact science, but the goal is to know between the 1,000 crypto that you could invest in because 99.99% are dead, which one you should check out. And Mumu, you see Mumu on the 28th, we can exactly spot what was the prax action doing because of this. So then when you check the evolution for each category, each meme coin, well, it's really highlighted how you should be able to do it. Because if you check every week, okay, what everyone is buying, are they stopping there this year or not? Or are they still accumulating? Because it doesn't matter what you buy or what I buy. What matters is who are the rich people and what they buy. Because they have a lot more power on the market. That's why most of the resources are always gathered to only few individuals. So when we know those individuals and we know their behavior, then we can follow them. Because there is another way. The other way, and it's a bit easier, is to know what's happening on your Twitter timeline. And I know Billy had a lot of hate. And it doesn't matter in the meme coins if people talk about it in good or bad. Because as long as they talk about it, a lot of people are gonna have attention on it. And Billy went up to 225 million and now is down at $20 million market cap, but still with a number of holders that is 30,000. So for example, for myself, I would be, that's an interesting one. I know this one and I hold some. So that's why I'm talking about it. But I'm not the only one on the market. So I would like to see as well some big portfolio buying that one. While on the other side, I know that Retardio is also a big meme coin. And this one, I have a number of holders. There's a lot smaller than Billy, because not everyone can assume and wear that they hold some retardio. However, this one is a bet against Wall Street, and still we went up to $150 million market cap, and we are down here to $32 million market cap. Now, I still know that people are big on it in it. I still know there's a lot of cult around it. And as soon as I see some spot getting secured with DCA, then I might be thinking, all right, that's the moment to accumulate more. But that's one that I accumulate personally. Maybe I'm going to be wrong. But you have to know that you are not in my position 
and my portfolio, the impact of being in this meme coin and wrong will not be as big as maybe you. It depends on everyone. But that's definitely what I would be looking at. So be on the fence. Look at what's happening on chain. Always. Look at the volume, where the money is going. And if tomorrow it's not meme coins anymore and I can see that the volume is going into AI coins, I wish not, but I'm not deciding, then I will go into AI coins because I just follow the volume and where the smart investor and the big money is going because I know that's where I can make my money. And that's why you should be now ready for that. So let me know in the comments if you would like to have access to this. You will be ready to pay for this yeah, because we're not going to give it for free. If it's free and everyone have it, it doesn't make sense. Like, how are we going to buy a yacht? I don't know. But I know you can buy a yacht if you follow this video because that's going to help you a lot to be able to trade meme coins. And I know today the joke was a bit strong, same as my matcha. Or maybe it was not a joke. Who knows? We will never have the answer. But don't forget one thing. Stay handsome. Ciao.